Shalom. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash, and the one of the apostles and others of Great Millstone. And salutations to the whole four elect. And this is your brother Ayn Noah Allah from Jim of Chicago. And uh, this is basically a response video about what are the names. And as you can see here on the screen, you yeah, have this woman who is who she is uh, close, all right. That that she she knows the names of the the the, the Most High and the Messiah, all right. But as for the rest of the individuals that are around her, you know, uh, they don't know the names, all right. Uh, to them, the names doesn't matter to them, but really. The, the, according to the scriptures the, the, the names are the most uh, important and basically the names are, are, are just really really important all right and you can't just call upon on a random name all right you can't just uh, pray to a, a, a random name you can't call upon Jesus you can't call upon Allah all right? The, the Most High and the Messiah have a name. But anyways, I'm going to just play this video to show you the folly of these of, of, of uh, IUIC and these uh, and these other people that, that don't even know the names. Alright? I say Jesus. Now but, but anyways, uh, we're going to read that first scripture right here. Proverbs 30 and 4 Who hath a scanned up into heaven, or this, or these candidates who have gathered the wind in his fists, who have bound the waters in a garment, who hath established all the ends of the earth. What is his name, and what is his son's name? That thou canst tell. And yeah, you know the the Most High and the Messiah uh, ha have a name, all right. Uh, first being. The Most High's name is Yahweh, which is in Hebrew, meaning He exists. The Messiah's uh, name is Yahushai, which is also in Hebrew, meaning He saves. I say Jesus. Now we do know J. Was not oh, even yeah, we, in yeah, that, you, sure, yeah, was you know, and we, and we know his real name for Jesus is what that we all don't want to call it. I know it. Those are all titles. I don't care. Who Jesus, is the real name? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, uh, I don't care. And the name, the, the name Yahushai, yeah, isn't a, isn't just a title. That's literally the Messiah's true name, his only name. All right, Yahweh. Yeah, is in a title that is the most high's name. Yeah, but who, who is Jesus' real name? Emmanuel. Uh, okay. Those are titles. Those are not names. Those what is his real name? Because I've studied it. Y'all don't know what. Those are titles. Give me that revelation. Okay, so the real name, because it's in the Bible. I ain't trying to go off. For Jesus is Yahweh Shai. And she was close, you know, really, it's uh, Yahweh Shai. All right, um, but yeah, I'll keep reading. I'll keep playing. It's in the Bible. Now we have one guest joining us. Also, is Aretha that's joining. But you know, you see these uh these other camps, you know these other groups. IUIC, IUSPK, uh, I think you IUSPK. But yeah, they don't got the names. All right, the names are important. All right, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you. Proving with these scriptures. Actually, I'm going to start with uh, Matthew chapter 1 verse 18. Not trying to make this too long, but yeah, here, here's uh, Matthew chapter 1 verse 18. Now the birth of Yahushai was on this wise, and when his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with a child of the Holy Spirit. And of course it says 
JC, but the, the 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 Messiah's name is in Hebrew. All right, and when you go into the interlinear, you tap on Jesus, which really uh, Jesus isn't the Messiah's true name, because the Messiah's true name is really is in Hebrew, and you can see here in in the uh, Assyrian Hebrew, you have the first. You, you read it from left to right. So the first you can see here, right here, where I'm pointing at, is Yah, Ha, Wa, Yahweh Shai. All right, the last lettering being the I. And yeah, yeah, you, you read it from left to right, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, and. And our pure language, our pure language is the Hebrew, all right? Of course, you see the root word etymology of Hebrew origin. But, uh, you know, right here it says, you, you, right here is the Syrian script. But, uh, really, Israel used the Apaleo Hebrew, all right? That is our, that, that is our script, all right? The Apaleo Hebrew is our script um, the Assyrian is not our original but hey, we we read the 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 the, the Assyrian the, the Assyrian script all right because this is the only option that we have here on the screen right now and there is no there's no J in Hebrew there is no O in Hebrew there's no E in Hebrew there's no U in Hebrew. Oh yeah, I keep reading. Now the birth of Yahushai was on this wise when his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together. She was found with a child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, the son of David, fear not to take unto thee, Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her oh, is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai, for he shall save his people from their sins. And it's showing you specifically that the Lord only had one name <clears throat> which uh, his name is in Hebrew which is Yahweh Shai and here goes into the importance of the name Zechariah 14 and 9 and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day it's like in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. It didn't say two, it didn't say several, it didn't say three. It says, and his name one. The Lord only has one name. So does his uh, father's name. Oh, yeah. You know, we, we call upon Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem meaning coming in the name of Matthew 1 and 18. Now the birth of Yahweh was on this wise when his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before oh Salaki. Sorry about that all. Oh Salaki. Acts 4 and 10. Alright. Acts 4 and 10. Be it known unto you all, unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahweh of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which is set at note of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no 
of the name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And yet there is no other name that you can call upon. There is only there's only one name that you can only call upon and that and that name is Yahweh. Slaki. <clears throat> Let me read that again. Verse twelve Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Straight to the point. The Lord only has one name. And his name is in Hebrew. Alright, the letter J was created 600 years ago. So ain't no way Jesus could be the Messiah's name. But here is Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9. For then will I turn to the people of pure language, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. And that pure language is the Hebrew. All right, the Lord turned to the people with a pure language that that we may call upon that the, 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 the name of the Lord. Isaiah 19 and 18 showing you that the pure language is Hebrew. Verse 18, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. And when you search up the land of Canaan, it will literally point you to the land of Israel. Alright, so now we know what the land of Canaan is. Now we know that the language of Canaan is the Hebrew. And swearing to the Lord of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. But yeah, the, we now we know that the that the language of Canaan is literally the Hebrew. You can read this here in the NLT. It literally tells you right here. And then in the in that day, five of the Egyptian Egypt cities will follow the Lord of Heaven's armies. They will even begin to speak Hebrew, the language of Canaan, showing you that us Israelites. We spoke the language of Canaan, which is Hebrew. But anyways, you know, that was just it to that lesson going into the names, all right? That the fact that you cannot call upon any other name and that there is only one name. And you can only call it, and that name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> but anyways, I hope this lesson was that I finally want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and Shalom.